We are here at Le Mans Saint-Michel. You can see it there in the background. Um, there's different ways of getting there. You can walk on foot across the bridge. You can take the horse shuttle here, or you can stand in line as we are doing with our tour group to take one of these uh, buses. And the line is quite long, so it's good to make up your mind beforehand where you want to go. While we're in the bus, over there is the Mont Saint Michel. So here we are. We are getting ready to go into Le Mans Saint Michel. It is a beautiful medieval uh, church and homes, and there's restaurants there, and it's all built on top of a big piece of granite and rock. Absolutely gorgeous, and that is Saint Michael. Yes, the Archangel. The Archangel, um, gold shines very brightly in the water. The tide comes in and out around here. But I guess in the 1990s, no, no, the 2014. In 2014, they actually built a bridge, so they didn't have to be dependent on people waiting for the tide to come in and go out. bridge is here, right behind us. Yes, the Esco World Heritage Site. And you can take the bus or you can take the horse-drawn carriage. Here we are on the ramparts of the fortress. And there is the Mont Michel. Then there is the main road where all the other tourists go. We're taking the sneaky back road to avoid all the traffic. Here's a great view of the entrance and the new bridge that they built a few years ago to come to the island even when it's not uh, low tide. There are some very steep steps going up there. It's quite the hike, I'm sure. Hmm. Here we are among the throngs, trying to climb. Huge crowds everywhere, of course. This is a very popular site where millions go every year. They have about 2 million tourists a year here. So we're one of them. Yeah, we're inside the Abbey. We just came up this long staircase. Abbey's up there. And uh, here the staircase continues. This is where the monks used to go up to the to worship and work. There's the entrance to the actual abbey. And here's once again the view from the top. Uh, this area is the courtyard and this is where the monks would walk around and meditate. You can see it's got columns all the way around it. Nice grassy area in the middle. So this hamster wheel you see behind us was used by the monks to pull weights and goods up from the outside of the castle so that uh, they could transport it up here to the high place for construction. Here we are in the main hall of the abbey. Notice these beautiful columns on the roof. This place is absolutely immense with so many nooks and crannies and uh, hidden walkways. It's really, really amazing. Definitely worth seeing. 
Here's a view of the surrounding area from the top of the Abbey. You can see the people there in the marsh. Uh, we're told this is very dangerous because the tide can come back very fast. Also, there's quicksand here that you can get into. Um, so it's not recommended, but people do it anyway. There's a neighboring island over there as well. And in the background, you can see the coast of Normandy. 